just want to make a quick video on some of the progress I've made. Uh, if you guys can see here, I've kind of mounted this to just a shelf I have here. Right now, I just mounted it so that you can see how well it's working. So I'll show you real quick. So the plan is, I'm going to attach this to the bottom of my Dragonfire drone. I'll fire it. And then, uh, hopefully it doesn't crash the thing. <laughs> I'm starting to think it might, but whatever. Got to try, right? I had a little bit of a breakthrough today. I made the thing out of a 250 racing drone. <laughs> I got a 300 degree servo there, but it's not going 300 degrees yet. I'm having, I guess I'm going to have to get a servo extender to make it actually go that full height, 300. But until then, it is working. Which is pretty awesome to me. Full Spectrum RC here guys. Uh, I decided to do a little update on the Dragonfire drone. As you can see, if you've been following closely and well, she is my baby, you're not going to notice it like I do. She has changed quite a bit. Her stance has changed as has electronics layout and a bunch of other couple things. So I'm going to show you real quick like. Uh, first off, I did move my GPS mainly because I really I wanted to keep it on its like brain box thing I built but it was really looking terrible with the body and it wasn't really melding the way I wanted it to so I took it off and I moved it uh, as you can see I also did move all of my electronics inside the body I'm hoping this will save it in a crash, lower the CG a little bit, and uh, I think the NAS will work a little bit better situated in the inside there, and it cleans it up a lot. I really, it was looking really ugly. The one downside is now all this stuff is really hard to access, so if I got to change a wire or anything, it's an issue. I did, I did have an issue already. I uh, bent some of the pins in there because I was trying to jimmy it in and get it in and with a pair of pliers, but that didn't work at all. And I bent it, so I had to go in there and fix it and spend more time. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see, I've got this plastic sheet here. I cut it to size and I put all these uh, dampeners there. This is just a power distribution board there uh, and my NASA is on a whole plate there all on its own plus everything else uh, one of the biggest changes is I did change the arms 100% <laughs> and I'm still really not where I want to be uh, as you can see, I got all these landing skid angles off eBay. I actually sourced them from two different places. <laughs> One was really fast shipping and the milling was kind of terrible. And one was super slow shipping and the ad was a little bit off. It wasn't exact. It said it had two or it kind of alluded that it had two, but it only came with one. And well, I ordered half of what I needed. That's how I ended up ordering a separate one. So, still, now, even with all the carbon fiber arms and everything I changed out, 
I'm still having wobble. And it's killing me. It's just killing me. Uh, I'm going to have to jump these up from the 16 millimeter to 25s. And I think I have to revamp how I attach all this. So really, I I got to get all new arms again. I'm going to try these out again in the 25 mil size. And I'm going to mount them a little bit different. She will fly like this. I just suspect they'll be uh, kind of wonky flying style. It is a huge craft, so she, she's going to fly like a baby anyways. Uh, but the other issue is I want to double these up. I want to do double motor mounts because, well, I'm attaching a paintball gun to it. And you'll see that, well, that's a lot of weight. It's an extra kilo and a half on top of everything. So far, she used 3,300 grams as is. Nothing else on her. No battery. Uh, which isn't as much as I thought it was going to be. She, I, she did trim a lot of weight off when I put these on. That was kind of the idea too. Her stance has totally changed. Way swung out in front now. Uh, she's 900 millimeters across and 600 wide. Now, now this is not really meant to run with anything like that. I'm actually going to be shortening these arms up as much as I can. The only issue is I want to run up to 16 inch props uh, on 5S. But to do that, I would need a lot more room here. And I might have to change these a bit again, anyways. Uh, also, one of the issues I've been battling with myself for huh, since I started this project was how the hell am I going to make these things? These suck. I've made them out of foam, I made them out of these things. all kinds of stuff. You know, the thing is, mounting them and making sure that they don't fall or move around in the wind or anything like that it turned out to be tough just like these arms everything's a learning experience it's just every step of the way I, I gotta learn something new and find out a issue I'm having but here's what I came up with I saw on the forums on Peel Drone Society the there's a drone made solely out of these guys this is a bike from my pulled all the spokes out of and currently they're 250 grams each ish and to put four of them on there I'd drop another kilo on it which I don't want I don't want it all so I'm gonna find a way to split these in half now fun fact of the day uh, you can't just cut this stuff with a regular grinder it's a non-ferrous metal aluminum, and that's another one of the issues I've been having this whole time. It's, you just can't grind this on a regular wheel and, or with uh, files the same way or cut it the same way as you would with a regular steel. Uh, it just doesn't work right. And it, in fact, you can ruin a grinding wheel because it'll gum it all up and it gets covered in it. Actually, I'll show you. If you look here, my grinding wheel, this is part of the issue. I was building the arms and I got aluminum shavings all over this thing. And what will happen is this will heat up and mess with your grinder. And it has the possibility of eventually exploding. Uh, now, that would be terrible. I wouldn't want that. But in any case, back to this. So, these are... Uh, 20 inch rims, I believe, and they fit a prop perfectly. I don't know if you guys can see. Those are my uh, 15 fives right now. Now these are just for show for the most part. I'm going to be taking them off when I serious fly. Uh, also, they are a bit of a safety addition, I guess you'd say. So. They'll, they'll protect these a bit. 
I'm thinking I'm gonna change out from carbon fiber too. They are uh, dangerous. I'm gonna be spinning up eight of these guys, 15 inches, 490 kV motors at 6S. Yeah, I, if anything goes wrong, it, it, well, it could kill somebody, right? So I, I'm gonna switch over, I think, to maybe DJI ones or something similar. The plastic folding ones. Uh, also, I'd like to show you this here. This is my three-axis pilot gimbal, I'm calling it. Uh, this is what I'm going to be flying with. That's where it's going to be mounted. I did change that too. This has got moved around. This was on the ground before, covering everything, but I decided to change this out uh, just for room so I can get in there better. Or well this thing can spin around all the way around. That was an issue. I, it was jamming up in here and that was no good. So there we go guys. Just a little update on what's going on with this guy. The biggest issue I have right now is I don't have any batteries. Otherwise I'd be flying this thing until I crashed it. Uh, <laughs> in between working on it. Right now, what I think I'm gonna do is put a couple of alarms on these guys, put them in series, and uh, fly it on 6S. These are 4,000 3S's. They're 4,000 milliamp 3S's. Totally different batteries, totally different C, totally everything. Welcome to the danger zone. Uh, Anyways guys, hope you enjoyed this video. I like to keep everybody up to date on what's going on with this thing. I've been talking about it and showing off pictures, blah 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 for a long time, but she's she's really there now. I could fly it if I wanted to, if I had batteries. If I just had batteries, I could fly it all the time. Uh, so I think that's something coming very soon, but ten thousand milliamp successes are pricey.